Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between traditional grinding and electro discharge grinding. In traditional grinding, a disc type wheel made of abrasive particles bonded in a harder medium is rotated against the workpiece to remove material in the form of solid microchips. Electric discharge grinding is categorized as a non traditional machining process. It is fundamentally different from conventional grinding. The only similarity exists in their apparently similar construction. So, let's look into the basic differences between traditional grinding and electro discharge grinding in a tabular form. Difference number one traditional grinding can be applied for electrically conductive as well as non conductive workpiece materials, whereas, electro discharge grinding can be applied only for electrically conductive workpiece materials. Number two in traditional grinding, the grinding wheel remains in continuous contact with the workpiece during machining, whereas, in electro discharge grinding, the rotating disc type electrode, grinding wheel, does not physically touch the workpiece. A small gap, called inter-electrode gap, always exists between them. Number 3. No dielectric fluid is used in traditional grinding. Suitable cutting fluid can be applied, however, its function is different from dielectric fluid. Whereas, in electro-discharge grinding, an appropriate dielectric fluid should be applied in inter-electrode gap to assist spark formation and debris removal. Number 4. In traditional grinding, the grinding wheel can be made of electrically conductive or non-conductive material, like alumina, silica, diamond, metal, etc. Whereas, in electro-discharge grinding, the grinding wheel must be made of electrically conductive material, like graphite. Number 5. In traditional grinding, material is removed in the form of solid microchips, whereas, in electro-discharge grinding, material is removed in molten and vapor phases. Number 6. In traditional grinding, mechanical energy is directly utilized to remove excess material from workpiece in a controlled way, whereas, material removal in electro-discharge grinding is based on thermal energy. So heat is primarily used to remove material from workpiece. Number 7. In traditional grinding, size and sharpness of the abrasives are crucial factors as they determine material removal rate and finish level, whereas, such parameters don't influence machining capability in electro-discharge grinding. Number 8. In traditional grinding, due to physical contact between rotating wheel and workpiece, significant cutting heat is generated undesirably. Whereas, in electro-discharge grinding, although wheel does not touch the workpiece, this process is based on thermal energy so heat is intentionally generated. Number 9. In traditional grinding, excessive cutting heat has numerous drawbacks. It hampers surface finish, changes surface properties, reduces material removal rate, accelerates wheel wear. Whereas, in electro-discharge grinding, Although localized temperature reaches as high as 10,000 degrees Celsius, heat does not spread over a wide area. Accordingly, heat-related problems are not significant here. Number 10. In traditional grinding, chip is formed primarily by shearing and assisted by plowing and rubbing, whereas, material removal mechanism in electro-discharge grinding is nothing but melting and vaporization due to extreme spark heat. And, difference number 11. In traditional grinding, chip accumulation in intergrip space at wheel periphery occurs frequently. Thus dressing is required to carry out regularly, whereas, in electro-discharge grinding, no chip accumulation on wheel periphery occurs here. Thus no need to carry out dressing.